What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the second episode of Thoughts from a Car. I'm your host, Andrew Lewin, and this is essentially a vlog or a show, whatever you want to call it, of me getting my thoughts out on my way to work. It takes me about eight minutes to get to work, depending on traffic, and uh, yeah, I I just enjoy getting my thoughts out because it, it clears me for the rest of the day. Yesterday when I did it, uh, I had a great time. I, I, I felt good about it just to get my thoughts out that I recorded this video because I've been wanting to do it for a while and I procrastinated and procrastinated, but I felt good just getting it out. So let's uh, let's start the show. Today I want to talk about something that's been very important to me. It's been a year since I really dedicated myself to leading a healthier lifestyle or starting that process anyway. But a year ago I was pretty much overweight and not feeling good about myself and always saying I need to work out but I can't find the time and it was just... It was hell, to be honest. And my kids, my one my one daughter said I had a belly like Santa, even though she didn't mean it. It kind of hurt. I have to admit, I, I took a little offense to it. But she's a kid. What can you do? Uh, she likes Santa. And I think it was more of a compliment that she thought I was Santa. Anyway, that's how I'm, that's how I'm thinking about it now. I joined a CrossFit gym uh, about a, a year ago, about a year ago today. And I swear to God, it was the best thing I've ever done. And I'm not here to profess CrossFit is the best thing to do. It's is is the end all and be all of working out and being in shape and whatnot. I'm here to say that it's working for me. And I'll tell you why. There's two major components uh, to CrossFit. Anyway, the gym that I go to. One is the community is a huge thing. You work out in a class with a coach and a bunch of people. And they could be different people depending on the times that you go. It could be the same if you go to this at like a 6 a.m. class that I go to. It's the same people. Or sometimes, you know, you, you just always see them. There's a Facebook group that you can always, you know, talk about your working out, talk about your eating habits and all this kind of thing. And it's fun to be around people who want to be healthy as well, no matter what shape they're in. There are people, when I first started, you know, I was out of shape. I wasn't very strong. I didn't know any of the lifts because it's specific lifts, which I'll get into another time. And at the end of every workout, no matter what level you're at in CrossFit, whether you're a competitor or whether you're a beginner, you were on your back, huffing and puffing, sweating, you were just exhausted. And that's what I love about it. Everybody goes at their own pace, their own weight, but the intensity is there no matter how well you're doing or how hard you're trying. You're gonna sweat, you're gonna get fit, and you're gonna be exhausted. So there's no really intimidation factor if you don't know what everybody like you know if you don't know what you're doing there's coaches there to teach you uh, anyway the community that everybody it, it kind of one for me it motivates me because I'm competitive so when I see people who are around the same strength as I do or who I think are about the same or I should be close to I kind of I kind of make sure that it's like okay if that person goes up and wait and I'm ready to go up and wait I should go up because I tend to get comfortable and I find with that community it kind of drives me that intensity drives me so that's the, that's the one factor, the community factor. The other factor is that when I go to these classes, everything is done for me. The workout is planned, uh, there's a set schedule, so I can't just, you know, I don't really have time to chat, because I like to talk, as you know, and you just do the workout for an hour, and you're done, and you're happy with your day, and you know you've got a good workout in. And I love it. So that's one of the ma two major reasons why I love CrossFit. Um, but one of the benefits of CrossFit is not just like you know feeling better because I'm in shape. It's the fact that you know I actually my posture is better and my flexibility is better. I take these mobility classes and I I use them at home now, so I don't always have to go to the class because I can't always make it. But you know, two or three times a week, I do these mobility exercises, and my flexibility has gotten better. Case in point, I used to play. I play. I play men's pickup, or I play men's hockey every Thursday night. And I used to play for about nine years. I played with a knee brace because I had bad knees from high school. And because I started to do mobility, boom! I didn't know. I don't have to play with that with that brace anymore. It's fantastic. Now I have to keep up the stretching, or else it'll tighten up, and then I'm gonna have to put it on. But I know this, so I just do my mobility stretches two or three times a week, and I'm fine. And it's been fantastic. It's actually helped me just in my day-to-day, -day, just my posture. It's helped me in any kind of activity that I do and the recovery from different activities, especially CrossFit working out. So that's you know sort of the, 
the major thing that I love is helping with my posture and my flexibility. So anyway, enough about CrossFit. I'll talk more about that as we go along in these vlogs. We'll move on to something else. One thing I want to talk about is fantasy football. I'm a big, huge football fan. And I've been listening to this podcast uh, by Jerry Ferrara, who, uh, you know, you probably know him from his character Turtle from Entourage. And he's done a couple of movies. Uh, he's been in, I uh, forget, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, the, he's got a podcast out and it's been since the summer. And he's one of the one of the episodes or, or shows that he has in that within that podcast is fantasy football. I'll put the link to the actual podcast so you can listen to it because it's kind of fun. He also has celebrities on and he interviews them and their friends and it's kind of fun. I, I enjoy it anyway. But he talks about fantasy football and it's kind of fun to actually listen to a podcast where he's not necessarily he knows a lot about fantasy, he knows a lot about football, but he's not necessarily like an expert, not an NFL player. He doesn't really necessarily talk to NFL players about on the show um, but he just talks about like he's a fan and he just enjoys fantasy football and he has his friends on and I just joined I brought this up because I just joined this um, fantasy football league that he puts on on fanduel.com which I've never really heard of before this before listening to this that podcast um, I'm usually on a Yahoo pool because you know it's easy all my friends are in it so it's, it's, it's easy but I love this FanDuel thing. It's essentially, you get to pick a team every week. You pay five bucks, you get to pick a team every week, and there's a salary cap. So you gotta pick the right players that fit in within your salary cap. And a lot of the times, if you're a big fantasy football fan, a lot of times it really has to do with matchups. And every once in a while, like the guy who wins, or the girl who wins, is, you know, has a couple of guys on their team that you didn't really expect to do well, like a kicker will get like 20 fantasy points, which they normally average maybe 15 or 10, depending on who your kicker is. But somebody will go off and get like crazy amount of fantasy points. So it's a matter of, you know, it's a little bit of skill in terms of finding the right matchups and a little bit of luck because sometimes a player will just go off and usually the winner, you know, has, you know, a crazy amount of points because of one, two, or maybe even three guys that go off. Uh, so it's kind of fun that way. I enjoy it because I actually get to like compare myself to some of the people. So because it's a, a Jerry Ferrara league and he's a celebrity, I kind of put his profile right beside mine and I kind of compare. Uh, I've beaten him a couple of times. The last couple of times he's beaten me and I get a little ticked when I lose. But anyway, it's kind of fun. You get to watch it. It's a live update. It's really cool. Fanduel.com backslash Jerry is the league. You get to win money if you win every week and you know, it goes prizes from I think, $240 all the way down to $10 if you're in like 75th place. I placed 80th last week, so I didn't get the 10 bucks. So I was, I was a little peeved, but whatever. It's fun and you get to listen to uh, how he breaks down every week after, at the end of each week in, during his podcast. And it's, so it's kind of fun in that way. And then if you win the league, he'll actually try and call you to be on the podcast, which it's kind of a benefit. It's kind of a, a neat thing. And a lot of Canadians actually have been winning this league at Go Canada because I am Canadian. And uh, and I get a little prideful when I hear that because we knew that we do know a lot about NFL football and we're very highly influenced by the NFL football. Or by NFL, not the NFL football, but NFL football. So it's kind of fun. So if you want to check it out, it's, it's, I'll put the link down below if you're a fantasy fan. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'm at work right now. It's a Friday. It's before the Friday before the Canadian Thanksgiving. So I'm off on Monday. So there might not be uh, a show, but that's okay. I'm, if I'm around and I'm driving around, I might actually do a show. But anyway, thanks for listening. Well, we'll talk to you later. Uh, you can check out. Uh, you can comment on anything. It's fantasy football. If you're part of fan um, FanDuel.com. Comment comments below uh, if you know of any other sites that I might like that are fantasy football related. You know, let us know. Fantasy hockey too. I, hockey, since hockey just started, I'm in a bit of a fantasy hockey league too. Uh, any other kind of things like that? Just put it in the in the links below or in the comments below because I'd like to hear from you. Uh, and then check out any of the other videos that I have up. You know, this is the second, so you know you can check out the first video if you uh, haven't caught up. And uh, I'll be posting Monday to Friday, so look out for these videos. All right, talk to you there. See ya.